It is Thursday, February 23rd, 2023, and from the home studio in Middletown, Delaware, I'm Marshall Manlove from Delaware Sports and My Sports Reports, this being a special interview edition of our show. And shortly, we will meet the Division II State Dual Meet Wrestling Champions from the home state here in Delaware, the Delaware Military Academy Seahawks, and their head coach, L.A. Collier. He will introduce some of his key wrestlers that helped the Seahawks to this state championship this year. But first, this is brought to you by AllAboutSportsU.com. Tim Wappler is a very successful softball mentor and coach, and he has developed this online training academy for softball players. He's been doing this a very, very long time, almost 40 years and if you go there and subscribe, take 15% off a subscription by using this promotion code 146DESportsFEB. That's all about sportsu.com. And it's also brought to you today by me, Marshall Manlove, stage hypnotist. If you would like a funny, fascinating, and memorable experience for a party or an event that you are having, please consider my stage hypnosis show. Details about what you can find at marshallmanlove.com. Special thanks go out to Jazzercise in Middletown, Newark, and Elkton, Maryland. One of the proprietors there runs a very active Facebook group page for parents of high school athletes. Kind enough to post up links to the videos that I produce here. So I am happy to talk about them. Now, hopefully, when I hit this next button, my guests will actually appear. Let's see, they got their mic on, so I know that's working here. And... There they are. To the right, right above my head there, is head coach L.A. Collier. Coach Collier, welcome. Thank you very much for making time to bring your champions along with you here today. How's it going, man? It's going great. Thanks for having us. All right. So, uh, first of all, I've known of you for a long time. Uh, you have an anniversary coming up this year actually at the individual state wrestling championships in 1998 you were the 112 pound individual state champion for saint mark's so they should all get you a cake to commemorate your the anniversary of that state championship what do you remember about that particular year uh i mean it was a great year team wise um we had eight state champions um so it was kind of like just our night, so it was a good time. Yeah, uh, and Steve Bassanelli was your head coach back then, and and he was a state champion himself. It kind of makes sense that you end up being a state champion under originally being under his tutelage. And did you go to college to wrestle? La that I don't have in my I notes. I was at Florian University for a little while. Okay, and now how long have you been coaching at the high school level? Level. Geez, um, over 20 years. And how long have you been with DMA now? Uh, this is our fifth year. Yeah, so I remember when you got hired there, so it was just a matter of time before you bring home state championship there. It was, a, it was an excellent hire uh, bringing you on board. So uh, let's, I'm going to circle back to you and fill in any gaps that uh, the rest of these conversations have. But let's bring in uh, it's your assistant coach there to the right of you. Yeah, right here. Uh, introduce yourself there, young man. Uh, my name is Luke McDonough. Uh, I went to Stanford High School. All right. I might uh, let me just get you to speak up just a little bit more, just in case, or move my up. Name yeah. Is Luke I went to uh, Stanford School. Okay. Uh, All right. And how long have you been with the program? This is my second year. All right. And what made you decide to join the Seahawk wrestling program? Well, with uh, Coach LA, uh, Coach Bill Valencia, they both coached me in um, high school at Stanford. And then when I was a club uh, wrestler as well, so before high school. LA, we're getting old, man. I know. I'll say it. But yeah, I watched him grow up, so. When he graduated from Pembroke, I, I scooped him up right away. I said, this is, this guy's good, he's energetic, we're gonna get him on, on board. And it was a perfect hire. Awesome. And uh, 
Either one of you take this next, next question. Obviously, the highlight of the year is you win the state championship, but coming into the dual meet state championships, what were some of your highlights of the season prior to that particular event? Uh, I think we did well individually throughout the year. Um, finished pretty high at Conestoga Valley, Valley and uh, Ray Oliver. We had a lot of teams. What else? Uh, teams that you know about? Yeah, Castle. yeah, we had some kids win at Beast. I went pretty far. Um, but we did we did actually go to Virginia Duels, which was just a great experience. And that's, if you don't know what that is, it's a national tournament. So we had a chance to go out there and, um, you know, just witness that, which was nice and compete. So that was good. Um, when we came back to Delaware, actually last year, I think we might have fared a little bit better against the D1 teams. This year we kind of missed it by a little bit. But going into the D2 dual meets, uh, we all felt confident. We knew this this should be our year. So that was kind of it. It was our eyes on the prize there. It is pretty confident because Caravelle had won the last like three or four. Oh, yeah, we know. We were there. <laughs> right. I know. Well, you have to have confidence, right? You can't go into a, a state championship tournament like that or any tournament if you're competitors and not be confident, right? Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So let's start meeting some of your wrestlers, and I'll ask some of the same questions to them. And who is up next? Uh, let's go ahead and start with um, Hayden Money here since he's the closest. Hayden Money, he's a junior. Um, hello, Hayden. Yeah, um, hello. Uh, name is Hayden Money, and uh, I decided to come to DMA because it was a great opportunity and all the other choices, and I'm glad I made this choice. So I understand you're a state champion in freestyle and Greco styles. Yeah. Now, the style that you are wrestling now is scholastic, correct? All right, so explain the difference between what somebody might see at the, a high school wrestling match as opposed to the freestyle and Greco that you also wrestle. So for freestyle and Greco, it's basically almost exactly the same except for the couple of rules are different. For Greco-Roman, it is probably the most drastic difference where you can't touch the leg in any way, so you can't. Uh, take a shot on the legs, or you can't leg lock in any certain way. But freestyle is almost like scholastic, with the exception that you don't have to have control to get points. All you have to do is uh, show the person's mat to the back, and that's instant points right there. So it's a lot more open to what you can do. So it's, uh, Greco is kind of more like sumo then, huh? Uh, in a way, yes. <laughs> you ever do any sumo wrestling? No. <laughs> well, if you're good at Greco, I, well, I don't know. You guys know what you're talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about. You're ranked fourth in the state. I don't know who's doing these rankings. I think they do a pretty good job of it uh, so far and uh, 65 and 20 record overall. But what was the highlight of the year for you, Hayden? Uh, the highlight for me was probably either... Uh, Having the opportunity to go to Virginia or winning the uh, state title for DMA, being able to have the last match and confirming the win for us, that's probably the highlight of my year. All right, so now the conferences are coming up and you have to place in a certain place in the, in the, in the, in the conference individual championships to go to states. But who are you looking forward to perhaps wrestling in – your next competition here, Hayden? Most likely Frank Miller. And where is he from? He's from Saudis. Okay. And did you wrestle him uh, during the uh, dual meet against them this year? Yes, I did. How'd you fare? So, uh, honestly, I, uh, I bear hugged him and had him on his back for a couple of seconds on the mat and then he escaped. Yeah. Yeah. Hate when that happens. Yeah. So what did you learn from that match that's, that you can take into the next time you see him that's going to help you overcome that and make you the champion? Uh, I could 
probably just learn how to have more control from top and just learn how to keep them down a lot more. Okay. Do you participate in any other sports there at DMA? Uh, not at DMA. I did do a couple sports before I came to DMA, I guess. Okay. What were they? Uh, I did track and field for eight years. Oh, wow. uh, I was a black belt in Tai Chi, did basketball for three, and uh, I did CrossFit when I'm off season. Okay. Yeah, wrestlers got to do a lot of CrossFitting, don't they? Yeah. All right. Yeah, no doubt about that. Uh, Unless you're like lightweight or heavyweight. Gotcha. All right, let's find out who's sitting next to you there, to your right. Hi, my name's uh, Daniel Williams. I'm a DMA's 138 pounder. Hello, Danny. Yeah, Danny, that's what most people call me. Do you want to prefer Danny or Daniel? Uh, I prefer Danny. It's just easier that way. That's what most people call me. All right. So I see that you're currently ranked number two in the state. Good for you, man. Well, thank Good for you. you. What were some of the highlights of your season here so far? Um, some of the highlights, uh, I did pretty well at the East. I won like four matches at the East, made it the second day. Um, winning dual states this past weekend was pretty good. Like all the guys were a lot of fun. It was exciting. Um, winning Belcast, the Belcast was invitational. And kind of like traveling around like other states and stuff, having fun, wrestling, competing. So I see that you were a USA Wrestling National Qualifier out in Fargo. I know that's a monster tournament. Talk about that. Yeah, so I went there last summer. It was a pretty good experience. Kind of like a week out in Fargo, a week of wrestling. Um, I, I, I competed in freestyle. I ended up not doing Greco. Uh, I went three and two, so I got three, like, three pretty good wins. I was happy with that. Um, yeah, not much else to say. It's a lot of good competition, a lot of really good guys. Like, Usually guys that go there and win that tournament usually win NBA titles and go on to do like things in the Olympics and that sort. So who's your main competition in your weight class right now? Um, he goes to William Penn, his name's Danny Sinclair. Ah, uh, yeah, he's, he's state champ, I think he's state champ, right? Last year? Yeah, he won, yeah, he won last year. He didn't beat you though, did he? No, he was, if he was, he was at 138 last year, I was at 132, I was down the weight class. Okay, so he's got to contend with you now. He does. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I actually met met him uh, and his coach in one of these interviews last year. So it's hard for me to root for either of you. I just wish you both health and success. And it's open so if you get there against each other, that it's that it's fun. Nobody gets hurt. And uh, just leave it at that. Any other sports for you, Danny? Um, I don't play a whole lot of sports. Usually I stick to wrestling. I'll play golf uh, here and there. Maybe like to go to the gym, lift weights. That's about it, though. All right. Yeah, so I, I do kind of notice that a lot of wrestlers just kind of wrestle year-round. Not a whole lot of uh, – maybe some football players wrestle, too, the, some of the heavier guys. But, I, I uh, Coach, do you, do you find that a lot of successful wrestlers kind of stick with just wrestling? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um... There's a lot of the more successful ones that are maybe ranked in the country or right up there wrestling all year round. But I think you're seeing it more and more of these uh, multi-sport athletes, how like it's crazy how wrestling will help you in every other sport. And I think some guys get to that level. I know when I was in high school, there was a guy that probably could have went D1 in football or wrestling and everybody thought he was going football and he went wrestling. So, um, yeah, I mean, a lot of the really good guys do. I would say, like, your national champions, for the most part, are strictly wrestlers. But uh, I think you're seeing a lot more and more multi-sport athletes. Yeah, the one thing I, I will say uh, about wrestlers is there's two sports whose athletes I admire the most. It's uh, cross-country runners and wrestlers. And I have found that those who succeed – at either of those sports, either have an, they have the char characters to succeed at either of those sports that end up succeeding in life for the most part. It's like a good bet. If you were a betting man or woman and you wanted to bet on the success that somebody might have in life, if you take a look at the success they had on the wrestling mat or running through the woods for uh, 20 minutes straight, you're gonna win 
more times than you will lose. So, I, I mean, I have the utmost respect for uh, wrestlers and cross country. I'm talking about wrestlers, but I have the utmost respect for all of you. No doubt about that. So, yeah, it's it's just a fact. I, I mean, like anytime I, I've hired a lot of people over my, the course of my life, and if I find out that somebody in there has wrestling or cross country, long distance running in their background, that's a feather in their cap because I know that they have heart and the dedication that it takes to succeed at that sport that they will apply those same characteristics to whatever they do in life yeah no doubt about that so all of you have my respect i might joke and kid around stuff like that but but trust me i respect all i respect all of you a great deal so let's move on to our next grappler i'm just gonna go around in the circle that's okay uh, we'll move on to Alyssa Mahan. All right. Hello, Alyssa. Hi. Welcome. So uh, I might have a few more questions for you than I might have of, of the others, but uh, I'll try not to let you dominate the rest of the time here. Okay. What got you into wrestling? And your dad too okay and what made you decide to join the boys program and grapple them um that's all they had to offer so, okay so I went for it. now uh it looks like you're the only am i right you're the only girl on the team yes okay do you have how many opportunities do you have to wrestle girls and girls events during the high school season uh, not many i did get one opportunity this year girls east to the east but out of season that's all i wrestle is girls now how'd you do in the bc east didn't you win yeah i thought so yeah i i think it's a great thing that girls are s starting to have their uh own events to wrestle in uh, I won't. I won't opine any more than that. I just think it's a good thing, and uh, this success that you've had so far has actually earned you an opportunity to uh, attend university and wrestle, also, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. And where are you going? Uh, Presbyterian College. What was it? Presbyterian. Oh, Presbyterian. That's right. I remember because I remember I announced that here on the show, and. Uh, so what do you know about their wrestling program and how do you think you're going to fit in there? Uh, their, their girls team is really good. I think they're ranked six, but, but they're seventh. I'm not positive in their like, divisions. Uh, yeah, they're really good. I hope I'll do good there. See how it goes. So you have, actually have... Uh, put in a lot of matches I see here like you have a total high school record of 72 and 57 That's you've had a lot of time on the mat. There's no doubt about that. What uh, weight classes have you been wrestling in? Uh, this year I wrestled uh, 120 and 126. Okay. Yeah, those are tough weight classes. Well, they're all tough the same you're the same weight, right? Uh, you've qualified for the States twice. What are you looking forward to this year? Who's going to be your competition in your weight class? Um, my conferences, I mean, there's going to be everyone's good in their own way. Mm -hmm. But, <coughs> oh yeah, Cam Davis, Drew Pratt. Um, yeah, that's, that's all I can think of. Okay, wasn't uh, Cam the uh, state champion, a state champion last year? No, I believe he got third. Okay, yeah. Uh, his dad coach. Uh, there's a lot of Davises over there. I get, them, I get them confused a little bit. So you're actually nationally ranked, too. So talk about that a little bit. How, What rank do you have as a female wrestler? Uh, right now, I'm currently 22nd in the country. Yeah, that's fantastic because there's definitely a lot more girls wrestling. That's good to see. I like that. Right, do you participate in any other sports? No, just wrestling. Okay. Yeah, same thing. See, And then where do you see yourself in five years or so? 
Uh, probably just be done college. So maybe I'll be back here coaching and have a job somewhere. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Well, if you end up in my field, I will hire you because you're a wrestler. Okay. Uh, I don't think I'm in your field. <laughs> Sorry. I want to be a guidance counselor. <laughs> no, not my field. No doubt about that. Nobody wants any counseling from me. So, right, so all right. Who's up next? Nice to meet you. Uh, let's go to Ty August here. Hey, Ty. How you doing? Pretty good, man. How are you? You are returning state champion, individual state champion. So this will be your one-year anniversary of your state championship from a year ago. You have should get a cake also. You. That's how you celebrate anniversaries with cakes. Wait till after the uh, competition, though, because you don't want to like gain too much weight, right? Or do you? I don't know. You were 220 pounds state champ last year. What weight class are you going to compete in this year? 215 pounds. What is it, 250? 215. Oh, two, oh, oh, they lower it? What are they, lower it? Yeah, change all the weight classes. Really? Some. Usually they go up. Why'd they go down? Um, uh, okay, well, all right. That means you, oh, man, you probably grew a little bit too, so it means you have to probably shed a couple pounds, or are you, are you in there already? Are you good to go? Nah, I, I don't cut weight, so, like, I, I had to find. Okay. Well, what, so like, what are you weighing right now? Two ten to two twelve. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, yeah. You don't need to then. You can bulk up a little bit. All right. So, who is going to be your main competition in the uh, upcoming, both of these and in upcoming individual meets? Uh, Justin Axagresti from Silas. Yeah. So is he ranked at number one? You're ranked number two, right? Is that how that's going right now? Yes. All right, so what are you going to have to do? You'll probably meet him again from what everything I know. What are you going to have to do to overcome Max Agresti and become the number one ranked wrestler in your weight class? Um, to me, it's just like just wrestling. Like a lot of people see all his accomplishments and like scared of him or just like intimidated. And I think the first few uh, matches with him, it's been like that for me. And just like just getting the mindset, just like. He just he's just another human being like he, everyone's beatable right absolutely on any given day yeah he was like the first beast of the east champion from delaware in quite some time but you've wrestled them before so you already have that experience which will which will help you out for sure now you have a 118 and 28 career record congratulations that 100 win milestone is very special and it's something that we actually mentioned here at one of our uh, milestone shows. What were some of the highlights of your year this year, Ty? Um, I really enjoy like the high you know, intensity matches, like when we wrestle Cape and Sally's. Like, there's a lot of people there, and it shows like how good we can be. And even like, and they're all close matches, and we weren't even full strike, so it shows that like what what we can be and like what we to what we were. Yeah, so Cape was the Division One state champion last year in duels. Sally's Division One champion this year, who uh, ended up beating Cape, and they and Sally's beat Sussex Central, who was undefeated. So, you guys held your own, guys and Alyssa Mahon uh, held your own against them for sure. So, um, any other sports for you, Ty? Yeah, I play baseball. Oh, you do? Oh, that's right. Yeah, what position do you play there? Uh, pitcher in first base. Yeah. And uh, you going, did you commit for college? Yeah, I'm playing baseball at the University of Delaware. That's right. I did, I remember, yeah, now I now I got it. I remember announcing that. Why baseball over wrestling? Um, Just like, over COVID, like, I, it was just mainly like, you couldn't go out and wrestle places, so I just like, got more, not interested, but like, just like, more involved with baseball and then, my, like my baseball skills really took off during COVID, so I got like more looks from people as well. And they don't have a wrestling team over at Delaware either. If you wanted to stay local, baseball is a good choice then, right? Yeah. Yeah, probably more opportunities, I guess, for you in baseball, do you think? Like. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, nice to meet you. And then let's meet Drew over here. There's Drew, right? Yeah. 
All right, so you had a big win against Caravel. Your victory in that state championship kind of sealed the deal there. You're also ranked number two, and you have a lot of wins in your career, 114 to be precise, three-time state place winner. And what are you looking for? What weight class are you wrestling this year, Drew? Uh, 175. Yeah, that's, that's a tough weight class, too. They're all, yeah, they're all tough. Any number that you throw at me, I go, yeah, that's a tough weight class. Yeah, it's, so what are some of your highlights from this past year? Uh, I would definitely say the state championship. Also, Virginia Duels was fun. And uh, the Del Castle tournament. Uh, I won there and also got my 100th win there. Yeah, fantastic. So I know that because things have changed since like I was younger and even when your coach was wrestling as far as the nutritional aspects and the training that coincide with the nutrition. Uh, how are you, who is, are, are you working with anybody in particular, maybe outside of your coaching staff or anything like that to help you manage your weight and keep you where you need or want to be? Um, somewhat, I mean, for me, I'm, my weight isn't like too hard for me to manage, but. Okay. Uh, as far as strength wise, uh, uh, Luke McDonough runs us through some workouts sometimes because he's a personal trainer. And you're a baseball player also, I see. Yeah. What position do you play? Uh, shortstop and pitcher. Yeah, so it means you have a good arm then, huh? How fast are yeah. you throwing? Uh, top at 90. Oh, wow. How many pitches are you throwing? Uh, I throw four different pitches. Yeah, nice. And uh, why why baseball over wrestling for you? You have this great success as a, as a wrestler, obviously having great success as a baseball player. So why baseball for you? Uh, it's always it's always been my uh, like my first love in, in sports, and I I've played my whole life, and I've just grown in baseball gotten opportunities that so, I've taken. Fantastic. I mean, for the two of you guys who are sitting in the screen right there to have the success on the wrestling mat, and then it's like your second choice of a sport, that must mean that you are very talented baseball players too. So it'd be fun to watch you guys in the coming baseball season. When do you start? It's like just, what practice starts like March 1st, doesn't it? Uh, so the season starts on Monday. Oh, yeah. But uh, obviously we'll go after states is finished. And who are you looking forward to uh, beating here in these individual uh, tournaments? Uh, I'm looking forward to having another shot at uh, CJ Frenchman from Kate. Okay. I uh, wrestled in the dual meet and we had a good match. Good, good. All right. So let me, let me work backwards here and I'm going to stay, stay with you, Drew. Tell me something interesting, funny, or uh, positive about Ty August. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well. He's a very talented guy. Okay. All right. You want to leave it there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, Ty, look over to your left then at Alyssa. And same question. Tell me something interesting, funny, or positive about her. And then just slide. There we go. Um, I'd say Alyssa, Alyssa gets thrown into like the, um, I don't know what you call it, but she always like, she always gets put against like the best guys like around her way. And she always like, she always finds a way to save team points for us. And she's like, she's probably one of the, well, it's hard to be in wrestling, but she's a really good team player in wrestling, and like it shows. Like she like, she always like gives us energy after like she like comes up with a big match or just the, she always does her job. So she's like one of the most consistent wrestlers, I'd say. All right, <laughs> Alyssa. Same question for you. Take a look to your left and say something about Danny. What can it be interesting and good? Can I tell you two things? <laughs> <laughs> An interesting fact about Danny is he has a hairless cat named Romeo, 
<laughs> and some, sorry, something good about Danny is he's a really hard worker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he's really smart. Pretty close, right? For sure. <laughs> this is this seems like a challenging exercise here, but <laughs> you know, it's okay. It's okay to talk about say nice things about your your teammates, right? Don't be embarrassed. It's totally it's totally cool, right? I mean, like you've all wrestled with each other, like on the mat, you sweat and all that stuff. You know, you, it's cool to say something nice. Danny, uh, same question to you. Take a look to your uh, left I there. Hayden here. here is pretty stoic. Like, he's pretty quiet a lot of the time. But I say, like, he might be on steroids. <laughs> um, yeah. Like, he'll like, lift people across the room sometimes. And uh, sometimes, like, even hurts our coaches. Because he might have seen, like, Dan's ACL. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Hayden's, like, really strong. He's probably one of the better wrestlers on the team. He'll probably play, like, top three at states this year. So, he'll make a good run. Oh, nice. And Hayden, say something interesting, funny, or positive about Drew. Uh, I don't know Drew that well, although I will say he probably is extremely hardworking and quick um, when it comes to wrestling. And he doesn't really give up too many points at all, which is really good. All right. All right, that's good. Yeah, what about the coaches? <laughs> I'm gonna get to that. I'm gonna get. All right. Well, who who wants to say something about their coaches, about your coaches? Luke, he has a lot of energy um, off the mat, and we have to calm him down sometimes. And that's really good to have in a coach. And he's just really into it. <laughs> he just yeah, he's there for. Right reasons. He wants to help us get better. Mm -hmm. And he can't. He can't take me down. <laughs> <laughs> he can't take me down. I'm sure there's few people who could, though, Dan. Right. Not for me, All right, uh, coaches, fill in the blanks there. Tell me anything that you want to mention about any of these wrestlers. It could be something interesting, funny, positive, whatever it is that you think I might have missed here about them. I mean, they all have great personalities in their own way. I think if you sat in our practice room for the first 15 minutes, you would be highly entertained. I think, <laughs> I, um, <laughs> I think I've seen them do a lot of different things there warming up. So it's a real fun group. So as far as being interesting, I mean, they're, they're, they're all, they all have their own traits. They're, they're funny. But uh, most of all, I mean, I would say you don't have to ask them to do anything twice. Uh, especially these guys that are all motivated and a couple of the other guys that aren't on camera here, but it's it's impressive as a coach to just be able to say, all right, here's the blueprint, and they have no problem following it, you know, so they just get up and do what they need to do, which is why we have a couple guys that are super successful at baseball. We have Alyssa that's great uh, in the fem on the female circuit. Danny is pretty special himself. I mean, I'd love to see him break through. Uh, I've coached a lot of kids, and I, you know, people come to me all the time and say how talented he is on the mat. I mean, something to see. Um, and they nailed it. They nailed it with Hayden. He's one of the strongest kids I've ever coached. Mm. And, uh, yeah, Stunna, what can you say about him? He brings the energy and perfect pickup. Oh, yeah. So, Luke, talk, talk about uh, L.A. there, what he means to the program, you, and anything else you want to add about any of the kids here. Um, I would say definitely the kids are very unique. There's never a dull moment in the room. Uh, you could be, like, really serious right before a match, but then you'll have one kid, like, crack a joke. That will lighten up the room. Um, L.A., I mean, he gives, he gives really good impressions. That's a, that's a good fact about him. But he's also a really good leader, so that's why I chose to come here and uh, play the DMN. All right. Well, it was very nice uh, to meet all of you. And uh, congratulations on your Division II Dual Meet State Wrestling Championship. And then the individual conference, the independent co wait, you're in the independent, right? Yes. And they start when? Tomorrow. So you got tomorrow and then the other preliminaries and all wrestlebacks and then championship rounds on Saturday, correct? Yeah, well, they kind of wrestle the placing there on Saturday. So okay. the preliminary grounds, wrestle up to semis, and then um, 
Yeah, Saturday's the day. So okay. To see if they get to go or not. And then the individual state championships will be next Friday and Saturday down at Cape and Lopen. That's it. So I hope to see you all there, and I will root for all of you. Thank you. All right. All right. Seahawks, wave goodbye to our growing fan base here at Delaware Sports and My Sports Reports. It's very nice to meet all of you. Continued success. Best of luck to you in the conferences, and hopefully you all make it to the state championships, and I will root for you in both of those events. Take great care. I'm going to hit the end button and wish you farewell for the day. Thanks again for making time to come see me. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. All right. That's the Delaware Military Academy Seahawks, the Division II dual meet state wrestling champions here in Delaware. Their head coach, L.A. Collier. And... If you would like to arrange an interview with some of your teammates, special athletes that you know, just reach out to me at mysportsreports at gmail.com. Would you like to join me here at Delaware Sports and My Sports Reports? Mysportsreports at gmail.com is the email address you need to use to contact me. Special thanks go out to my wonderful and beautiful wife, Donnie M., my friends, Joey B. and Tommy K. supporters from day one of this particular broadcast. And you can support the show simply by subscribing on whatever platform you find these shows. I'd appreciate it. It will help us promote the positive achievements of local athletes here in Delaware and even beyond. And it does not matter how many people might be doing something like that because there are so many people doing this. It is important that we cross promote and talk about the positive activities of all these people as often as we can. I didn't stutter when I got through that. That's fantastic. That's a miracle. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am Marshall Manlove, and now from the home studio in Middletown, Delaware, I'm gone. Yeah. Have a great day. <laughs>